Hello, welcome to this page. Um, if you are here, you are probably looking into genetics and trying to figure out, you know, is something this getting your genetics in that's good for you? So I want to go over just for the next few minutes a quick overview of what this package is and what is important to know about looking into genetics. So um, first off, let's look at what it is that's important to know in looking into genetics. Genetics is not the, uh, the one end-all type test that you're going to get and say, oh, I have this genetic SNP and oh, I'm going to now go treat that SNP. That's not what genetic testing is for. What this information does give you is it lets you to know, hey, I happen to have genetic predispositions. I have these genetic SNPs and this is how they can potentially affect my health. So if you're looking at your health holistically and wanting to know how you can put your genetics into context and make your genes work for you for the better, then stay tuned in because this is really what it is that I do and this is what this report is really helpful for is putting things into context. And so I wanna jump in here and show you guys an example of the sample reports of what it is you guys will get. So here is a sample report of what it looks like, one of the sample reports that you're going to get. And this just kind of puts in, you know, in general, where these different genetic SNPs, where they fit into a variety of different pathways. And so why that's important is because when we are providing really good nutrients for our body, sometimes certain pathways maybe need a little extra support than others. And we also make sure that we are not, just because we have an NTHFR SNP, that we run out and get a methylated vitamin because that can really be very problematic um, and cause a lot of issues. So this year report is just like your general overview. It's around 60 to 70 pages, just kind of depends on what kind of SNPs you have. But it puts them into different categories, like for instance, these different variants here may impact your digestive health. Um, as we go through, it's just a whole, you know, it gives you the, the SNPs, it tells you about them, um, you know, with these variants, the different potential of disruptions, what they can cause, the different things that they can uh, lead to. Uh, for instance, like the food too, can create a lot of disruptions in the composition of your gut flora. And we need to have a really good healthy balance in our microbiome for that synergy to happen to get, you know, nutrients to, for our immune system. So if we have like these food twos, um, we can get to where, hey, our body can't really support those microbiome the way that it the optimally. So we need to approach our microbiome a little bit differently than someone who doesn't have um, certain SNPs. Histamine levels, um, it goes through like our detox. There's just a whole bunch like cellular energy. Um, it's 60 pages of, you know, your SNPs, um, your genes. And this will tell you here, hey, the one means that you're heterozygous. It means you have one genetic variant. A two means that you're homozygous, that you have two genetic variants. And if there's nothing there, it means that, you know what, there was no genetic variants there. Um, so this is a really nice little tool to have to know to say, hey, I'm homozygous, heterozygous. Um, and then over here, you see the percentages shows you in their database how many people they have seen that have that particular genetic profile. So only 2.4% have, they have seen have a, a heterozygous in this particular gene here, in the CHT, in this particular one. So it's a really good overview on that. Here's your detoxification, which is vital to know make sure that we are optimizing our detox pathways and not just doing detoxes just for the sake of doing detox about really understanding all of the bigger picture on that. So the genetic uh, test can really help us to know where we have some tendencies to have difficulty in those genetic pathways. And so we overlay that with our symptoms and also really good idea to overlay lab results. We can see what's the expression of these genes because just because if we have a genetic variance doesn't mean that there will be a problem as well as just because we don't have a genetic variance doesn't mean that we won't have a problem. So again, it's all about the context and looking at that, looking at that but this can help us, especially in these chronic situations, to know that, hey, I can't, I don't, I'm not really able to detox heavy metals. My body has a lot more difficulty in detoxing heavy metals. I'm more cautious of heavy metal exposures, those kinds of things. So the next thing you're also gonna get here is your raw data. And this one, um, what it's all of it is about 300, several hundred pages. It's 15,000, over 15,000 genes that they report on. So what I generally do for myself and a lot of my clients, they just will download and print the report that has the genetic SNPs. And the one that will have the variants is usually around 90 pages or so. So this is just a short sample, like five pages of, of what this one looks like, but it's just the gene, the RSID number, uh, the genotype, like what it is that your, came, your test came back at, what, it, what should it have been, and which one is the risk one? And then do you have one or two variants? So it has two, that's the homozygous again. And if it has the one, that would be the heterozygous. Um, again, this is a great another way just to kind of look at, oh, this is you know, your whole entire genetic profile. 
And then after that, one of the things that you get with the consult is we're going to go look at these things now in context. So it's great to have this information, but you know what? You may be saying, hey, Selena, I'm not trained in this. I don't understand. Like, I, I understand I have the data, but what does that mean that if it's homeless like this, what does this mean, these pathways? So I'm going to walk you through this uh, pyramid that's going to show you and help you to overlay with you where these genes fit in, which processes they fit into. So we can look here is, you know, this particular one here, this is a sample client, which happens to be that same sample um, test that I was showing you guys as the other ones, that we, when we put that in here, that this one here is the genetic, and then the middle one is a symptom. Um, what are the symptoms that they're having right now? And then the yellow is, what are their test results showing right now? And so you're going to get with the package the um, genetic and also the symptom, um, 194 uh, question, question is that you guys will have access to to answer the questions so you guys can see, am I having symptoms that are expressing in some of these different pathways? So then you can kind of look and see that, look, for instance here, genetically wise, definitely predisposition to have problems here, and they're definitely expressing in both symptoms and in the labs. Over here we see in the NOS uncoupling that genetic wise, they don't necessarily have any predisposition to have problems there, but they are still expressing, their body's still having difficulty. Fortunately, the lab results are still showing that, hey, things are okay, um, but it's something that you want to look into context and formulate a plan to help get your health moving forward by looking at all of these pieces to the puzzle. So when it comes to genetics, I cannot stress enough how important it is to look at the big picture and not just go out and get an MTHFR test or a few other SNPs and say, oh, I got these SNPs or I don't have these SNPs and then make a plan off of that. Please do not do that. Um, it, it, there's so much more to it than just this one single test. And pretty much that goes across the board. Just because you have a certain test result, rarely does it mean you need to go, oh, all of a sudden I'll go change everything and base it off of one single test. It needs to all get put into context. So I help you to put these things into context and to teach you what it is these things actually mean so that you can take charge of your health. I also want to show you guys what it looks like from your side in your client portal. So once you guys uh, get your... Um, purchase the package, you're also going to get a link to get the client portal inside that. So what's going to happen inside your dashboard is um, this one here, it's not going to be completely filled out, but you're going to have these different sections in here. One is once you receive your kit, you have to register it because the lab is completely confidential. So if they don't have the numbers matched to whenever they get the results back, which client to upload it to, they're not going to where to send your guys' results. So you've got to make sure you register your barcode that you get whenever you get your kit and also on the packaging to um, the sleeve, you just kind of like reuse a lot of that packaging to, to ship it back. So you'll make sure that you put your barcode in. And if you happen to have 23andMe data, we can upload the 23andMe. Uh, the thing with 23andMe is they don't have a lot of the SNPs. You're not getting, especially some of the really important ones that, you know, for like our detox pathways, some of our neurotransmitters, hormones, those kinds of things, you're really not getting all the information that you uh, have. Um, then you're gonna have a, a symptom the link to the symptom survey. So you're going to click on that to fill out the survey. And then once you get your, uh, um, the results back, you're going to have a link to click to get your gene report. Um, and it takes about six to eight weeks. Sometimes I mean, it takes just a month. It really just varies. They run them in batches. They do about 90 something at a time. So they wait until they have 90, then they uh, run all the, the uh, batches they go through and they run all those things. So um, if you happen to get in right at the beginning, you may have to wait for them to get 90 or you get the end. It may be super, super quick. So it could be as quick as a few weeks to six to eight weeks. Um, so I usually just generally tell the clients about six weeks. And so far, I've not had anybody take that long, but it can happen. So um, that's pretty much it. So then um, that's what this looks like. And then um, I believe that's pretty much it. There's going to be some consent forms you have to sign, um, register this. There's You'll have... Um, when you log in, it'll give you the step-by-step, -step, walk you through the things that you need to do, um, like signing the consent form first is the first thing you have to do because this is uh, genetic information. Um, that pretty much wraps it up. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. I look forward to connecting with you guys all and for helping you guys to unlock your genetic potential. Um, you all have a great day. Take care.